Okay, simplifying an expression. Okay, simplify the expression. Uh, now remember, you're not trying to solve anything here. Okay, it's, you're not doing an equation. This is an expression. Okay, just simplify it. So uh, I've just written a couple here. Let's have a look at this one. Okay. So remember, there is no equal sign. You're not trying to find out what x equals. Have a look at this. Negative two times five x. That's negative ten x, isn't it? Yep. Okay. Then negative two times three. That's negative six. You're doing the distributive law, aren't you? Okay. Right, next one. Three times two x. Well that's six x. Okay. But remember, it's a positive six x. You need the plus in there. Some people forget to write this, okay? Most of the times you don't need it, but if you need it within the middle of uh, all this expression. Okay, so three times two x is six x. What's three times negative four? That's negative 12. Okay? Now, what you've got left here is you just simplify it. You're doing the like terms. Okay, look, here's an x term, here's an x term. Okay? Now, just be careful. I get some people thinking they, having to, they have to solve this. So they see this negative 10x and they go, right, how to get rid of that? I add a 10x. Now, you might have done this before in a previous class. Okay? But if you add a 10x to that, where you're adding the 10x on, there's no other side of the equation, okay? There is no, you know, what's, there's nothing over here to add 10x to. Why are you adding 10x? Okay, you just, you just added 10x to something, okay? Um, and why, like I say, you're not trying to solve anything, okay? Don't do that. I get some people doing that, but that's when you're doing it either side of an equal sign, okay? So let's get rid of that right now. What you're actually doing is this. What's negative 10x? plus 6x, that's negative 4x, okay? 10 take away 6 is 4, but there's more negatives, it's negative 4. Okay, how about negative 6, negative 12, uh, that's negative 18, okay? And that's it, you have just simplified that expression, that's it. That's all you can do, you can't add x as numbers, that's it, you're finished. How about another one? Now, the reason why I'm showing you this one, it looks simpler, but people have to watch these um, negatives, okay? Now, if I look at this, I just run straight through this. Look at that. What's negative 3? Now, you're going to take away a 5, all right? Well, that is negative 8, all right? Okay? Now, I see this. Um, this is what I see right now, okay? There are no x's here, okay? So, I don't have any x's here, but I've got to subtract a negative 2x, okay, let's get the point here, so I'm subtracting, what am I subtracting? Well, I'm subtracting a 5, and I can do that because I'm subtracting from the number, but I'm also subtracting a negative 2x. Now, if you had listened to what I said, I'm saying subtract a negative, that's two negatives, doesn't that make a positive, do you remember? Okay, so I can see one, two negatives here, so I'm just going to write the answer down, and I'll explain it again. This is what the answer is for this, that's the answer, okay? That's it. You have just simplified it. But one way of looking at it is, and I think it's one of the easiest ways to do it, is, um, remember, if we go back to um, this previous question. Look, this had a negative 2 in front of a parenthesis. Okay, you did the distributive law. This had a 3 in front of a parenthesis. We did the distributive law. Well, if you don't have anything there, put a 1. Hey, how about that then? Okay, so now you can think of this as a negative 1. Okay, just ignore that negative 3. Just ignore it. Okay, it's not there. It's not there. If you were, if that was there, you'd have to do the multiplication first. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Negative 1 times 5. Okay, and negative 1 times negative 2. So you have negative 3. Now what's negative 1 times 5? That's negative 5. Okay, so remember, I'm doing that times that, I get that, negative 5, okay, I'm now doing that times that, and now you can clearly see what's negative 1 times negative 2, x, well negative times negative is positive 2x, so that is one way of looking at it, if you don't see a number in front of the parenthesis, if it's just got a negative there, put a 1 there, and then it's now a negative 1 as a distributive law, okay, and that's what I've got, but of course again, that there will become the negative 8. Okay? Uh, so again, just be careful. You know, you, we'll just watch those negatives.